It's important to remember that Comic Life works in layers. So if I click on this once, we're at the panel level. If I click on it again, we're at the photo level. And if I click on the speech balloon, we're in the position of moving the speech balloon around. And if I go click, click and highlight the text, we're at the top level where we can edit the text. So I'll just deselect all that by clicking over here. Um, next thing we're going to do is to create another panel. So I'll just grab one from over here and I'll put it about there. Uh, it's going to be off the page. See how there's a... If I move this, you look on the left end, you'll be able to see some uh, lines there. I can point with the cursor. They show the edge of the page and they show that the left side of this panel isn't going to be printed. So I'll drag it back. Now then I'm going to grab this green button and just drag it over to here because I want to get that graphic from the Australian Human Rights Commission that I showed you a little earlier. So what I'm going to do is to hold down Command and Tab and we're going to go to the Finder. I'm going to click on Desktop just here and there's that image. So I'm just going to drag it down into the picture I'll now go Command Tab to Comic Life and we're back in business. Now then you can see that it's chopped off on the left and the right. So because there's an orange highlighter around this graphic, I know that when I do this, I'll actually be editing that and not the panel. So I'm just making it smaller. I'm now going to drag it back for size. It's still slightly too big because we've lost the edge of the W. So let's make it slightly smaller. Drag that over. There we are. Now then, if I deselect by clicking on the grey, you can see that the panel is too big. So I'll just click on it. And now, if I grab this one in the corner, we can do two sizings at once, like that. So I'm grabbing the green and I'm moving it up to the edge of this graphic we've put in. Now we've just done some interesting stuff. So let's go up to File and choose Save. Now, I think we're about ready to put in some of the answers to the question, what are human rights? We're ready now to put in another speech balloon, which would be the answer. So I'll click this one here, and I think maybe we'll put it about here. Now, I'm going to suggest, and we go to our script, and here it is. We're going to select one of the answers. So here we are in the Word document, and I'll just highlight all of that. And I'll now copy it. So I'll go to Edit and Copy. We'll go to Comic Life, and it's highlighted here. So I'm just going to go to Edit and Paste. And there it is, except that, of course, it's the wrong size. So we're just going to click over here. Now we're going to click back on it and we'll get that speech balloon and we can do stuff with it. Like make it wider and I think perhaps we'll make it not as high. So there we go. I reckon we're just about right. Yeah, we'll get this person here to speak it and we'll grab it. Now I've grabbed the whole panel, not just the words, the whole speech balloon shouldn't have said panel, the whole speech balloon, and I'm going to move that to there, still on the page. Okay, the next one, I'm going to grab this, because we're ready for the other answer. So I'll go here, and we go back to our Word document, and this time we're going to select the answer to the other question about refugees. So I'll copy that, Command C. I'll press Command Tab and we can go back to Comic Life. And it's highlighted. It's so all I've got to do is to go Command V and it'll paste. Once again, it's far too big. So I've deselected in the grey area. Now I'm going to do the same sizing stuff that we did before. Um, I'll drag this green one up here like that. I reckon we'll get this person to say this. I reckon we'll move this just by dragging it down to here. And we've got a bit of a problem, so I'm going to click on this one. And I think we'll try making it narrower and 
papaya. Yes, so now we can fit this in just about so it's not going to go off the printing edge. There we go, we know that now. Just about finished, except what are human rights? Well, I reckon we might try editing that question because I think we need a different one. And I'm just going to check by going back to my scripts. And I think we'll ask the question, who are asylum seekers and who are refugees? So I'll grab that. I'll go Command C to copy. I'll go Command Tab to go back to Comic Life. And we'll paste that in. And I think we'll resize this. So here we go. We'll make it um, a little wider. Let's try that. Who are a sign? We've still glossed a bit there on the edge, so let's drag that. Um, maybe if we try turning, no, that's not going to help. Maybe if we delete that one and we choose a better size, so I'm going to choose this one here. Let's put that up there. And I'll do the paste trick. So I'll delete. Now then, we'll try sizing this one. Let's see whether we go all right. Drag it on the left. Who are asylum seekers and refugees? We better make sure that it comes from this person. There we go. We've just made a lot of changes. So I'm going to go to File and Save. Now then, this page is nearly finished, but it needs a title. So let's go down to lettering and we'll drag that up to here. And it's about human rights. So that the lettering is the default. If we type in human rights and click place lettering, we should be fine. Um, I think perhaps we might put that in the page. So I'm going to show you how you can move an image. So I've selected this picture at the bottom. I'm going to drag it down to about there. I'm going to drag these down a lot closer. It means I need to move this one pointing to the speaker's mouth. I need to go back to this. I think make it a bit closer. I'll do the same for this. He's the speaker of this. So grab that move it down 